Cancer Tribe. This is Mr. Ken, and this is your reading for Dece for March 20th, 2020. And this is a general read. This cannot, will not resonate with everybody. And these readings are timeless. Okay, and we'll go start out with an oracle card. Let's see what messages and guidance spirit has for us for tomorrow, March 20th, 2020, please. Messages and guidance. Messages and guidance for the collective for March 20th, 2020. Tomorrow's my dad's birthday, actually. Okay, messages and guidance. And happy spring, spring, spring! The news said the uh, spring equinox is actually happening tonight. You know, it just happen has to do with um, the spring equinox being backed up, backed up, <coughs> excuse me, backed up over, um, you know, when we have those, when we have leap years and stuff. And, th and this is the earliest that it's been since eight late 1800s so actually technically um works today's the first day of spring okay let's see what messages and guidance we have helpful person someone wants to help you think of whom that might be so you're getting help from somewhere okay Someone's trying to help you out with a situation, so you need to stay optimistic. Okay? Don't let these troubled times or... Uh, I know a lot of people are feeling a financial strain right now. Uh, the Spirit is saying you must stay optimistic. There is somebody who is going to reach out, try to help you. I mean, that could be as simple as a friend, or it could even be the government. It could be, you know... Those checks. Wait, don't rush into action right now. So you are going through a waiting period right now. Um, you know, I know as we wait this out, as you wait the, your situation, your personal situation out, I know it, you get a little bit anxious. You get a little bit nervous. You start, I feel that that, start, that self doubt starts creeping in. But know that um, Spirit is saying you just need to wait this out and have some faith. And know that, you know, their spirit, spirit is probably sending somebody into your life or have crossed your path or, so, or, or someone you already know is going, to be, is going to be placed on their heart to give you a helping hand in some way, shape, or form. And you, the key thing is you have to keep an optimistic attitude. Okay, uh, let's get some tarot cards here. Damn, these things are hard to shuffle. Can't wait till these things break in. I don't know how some people do it. I've got big hands and I have trouble with larger cards. Even before my stroke, you know, large cards I always had trouble with. Stiff cards. Okay, let's see, just see what messages and guidance spirit has for us. Sometimes I gotta do this. Shuffle them in halves. I just feel like these cards are, need a really good shuffle. Okay. 
Okay. Card under the deck is the tower. So yeah, we've had a tower moment here. We've had a crash. We had some something sudden happen that shakes up our foundations here. Um, it, it, this is a life changer. Changing event that is occurring with you right now. And Spirit is saying you just stay optimistic. You're being called to stay optimistic here. And we have the Eight of Wands. So there is communication. There is things happening very quickly. And this is that sudden burst of energy. This is that things that's... You feel like things are being thrown at you very quickly, very suddenly. And we also have the Ace of Swords. This is your truth. This is the sort of victory. This is, um, you know, maybe cut, things being cut out. I feel so. That, but this is truth being spoken. And it, sometimes the truth hurts. But it's also, the Ace of Swords is also about victory. And this is about thought. You may, this may be requiring you to come up with a new creative ways of thinking. Or maybe thinking logically. But there is definitely clarity coming after this tower falls. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, this is, you know, whatever this clarity is, it is going to lead to a new way, a new self-love. Um, this could be love for self. This could be spiritual love. This could be love between family members, whatever your situation is. Um, we have the Page of Swords. Again, this is speaking truth. This is new ideas. This is taking an idea and running with it. You may have some new innovative ideas that um, that you are very passionate about. Okay? And this tower falling may have seemed like a devastation at first. But the tower had to fall, had to break down so that you can rebuild. And this, this fast-moving energy, this shocking energy that's happened is opening up your mind. And bringing clarity into your life. And I feel like you bright ideas, new ideas, innovative ideas that are coming to you that is that you're going to be very passionate about. Okay, let's see what else comes up here. Ooh. We have the four of wands. This is about your building your foundations. So Four of Wands, Nine of Wands. You know, you've, you're, you're going to get through this. This is about perseverance. This is making it through, and you will still be standing. You may have been for, through a war, but you can relax after you get through all this energy here. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here. This is destiny. This is fate. And this is the wheel turning in your direction. Um, it's like a twist of fate here. That's what I'm being told. This is a twist of fate, my friends. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the family legacy. This is the family foundation. This is, you know, uh, building your legacy. Your sense of security. And I feel like this is igniting new ideas surrounding your sense of security. So, really, this tower moment, this earth, this earth-shattering event that occurred to shake, rattle, and roll your world that made you doubt everything is actually going to be a blessing. Because it's gonna it it's triggering these new ideas, this new way of thinking. This tower is making a way for your dreams to come true. Whatever goals that you had set, you're going to start seeing that. You're, they're going to start um, developing here. And there's definitely, uh, the four of wands is also about leveling up, taking things to a new level. This, for some of you, this could be a relationship. And I, th if this is a relationship and 
I'm feeling like maybe finance is crumbling here, something crumbling within this foundation here that it's actually going to make your connection stronger. So... The wheel's turning in your favor, my friends. It's turning very quickly. There's a there as fast as the tower fall fell, an answer and rebuild begins. I think that this is I think you've been there is something that you've been researching for a while now, I feel. But you may have been bound by circumstances that you could not enact your ideas. But now you're going to have that opportunity. Okay. I am going to do something a little bit different that I've never done on camera before. I am going to draw some dominoes. Okay. So, okay, we got a couple that came out. We have four over five, two over five. You know, the bottom line is struggles. That is a common theme in this. Struggling. One over five. We have five, 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 my friends here. This is divine change. This is change that is happening. The tower brings about changes. Eights, the eight of wands brings about drastic change very quickly. So this is this is a, something that has developed very fast, and you felt like you were out of control here. And with this here, uh, and then we have, and it's all about your stability and partnering and decision making, okay, and and which is bringing about a new beginning for you. Okay, you are want, want you are coming to the end of a cycle, and this new beginning that you have has potential for growth. And it is this whole event that has unfolded has has forced you into changing course. And now you are going to be given the opportunity to rebuild. But it's going to restore balance. Bring back balance and bring back harmony. That is why I'm saying you have to stay optimistic here. Because harmony and balance is going to be restored. Some of this is going to take some self-reflection going within yourself. And finding that courage to take a hold of those reins and really harness the energy and charge forward with that. And following your passions. This is about you gaining control. You are in the driver's seat. You have control of your destiny right now. You take those ideas that's swirling around in your head and you charge forward. You will be victorious. You are going to create something with that that is going to be bring you abundance, my friends. It is going to bring you abundance and security. Hey, I want to get some playing cards here. This is my favorite deck. Some people might cringe because they have Ouija boards on the back. But I just thought these cards were cool as shit. Okay.
Okay, for additional messages and guidance, please. We have a, the Ten of Diamonds. That is your security to a spades. You know that is um, that is conflict within a within a relationship. That is conflict within a household. You might be at odds with each other. Um, there is definitely a division, but it's going to be cured. It is going to come back together here with a seven of you know clubs, which is like you know standing up for yourself. But there's definitely, there is a division that has occurred. And I feel that's where part of this tower moment has come into play. And I feel that the division has come as a result of stressful situations going on around your environment. Somebody cracked. Okay. And And somebody, you've been trying to do this balancing act here. Yeah, this is about your stability. Okay, yeah, there okay, something hasn't been growing. Something that you've you've invested a lot of time and energy into something here. And um and things are changing. There's been some struggles with the finances. But your nest egg is here. You're going to get through it despite all, all the energies. Right now, there's a lot of confusion. And that is why it's Spirit is saying you need to stay optimistic. You know, you're near completion. You're near the finish line. The worst is just about over here. So these are the messages that I do have for you. I do thank you for tuning in. And I will see you in the next video. Blessed be.